Western North Carolina has a wealth of information about health and wellness. That's right. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live this morning from a place where you can tap right into all this information and it's free. Victoria, what's going on over there at UNCA this morning? They are hosting their third annual health and wellness fair. It's taking place today. And we're right here in the concourse at the uh, Kimmel Arena and the Sherrill Center. And if you've been on campus, you know exactly where it is. And we are talking to Chef Michael Gentry. He is actually the sustainable gourmet. Good morning. And of course, we are talking about some healthy ways to eat and get our day going. You've got a neat little uh, recipe you're putting together for us. What's that? Today we're going to make a nasturtium butter. Nasturtium? That's a flower, right? It sure is. It's got a nice spicy flavor to it. I've chopped up the petals. Okay. And the leaves, and we're adding it to avocado. Wonderful. Now, this is a butter, but there's no butter involved, right? No butter involved. That's going to help us on the health front. Um, you you cook primarily or solely organic, right? That's true. Okay, so a lot of people think, oh, organic, this is going to be, I know it's good for me, but this is going to break my bank. What do you find when, you're, when you've looked at this? Cooking organic, is it really cost effective in any way? Absolutely. I believe uh, spending money in the grocery store uh, rather than the doctor's office and it works really wonderfully. Okay. I like that. I'd rather eat good food than I love my doctors, but you know, I'm just saying, I'd rather see them on a social thing and them over for a nice organic meal. And that's going to talk right. about something else right. you've got going on here. You call this a living taco? This is a living taco. Why so is it a living taco? The taco itself is the collard leaf. Oh. On top we have a duck egg, mm -hmm. and now we're adding our nasturtium butter. And then you just roll that up and enjoy it. And enjoy that. Yum. You've got other wonderful examples here. i got to point out, there's some chocolate involved in this. So right. you're already after my own heart here. But there what else is in that that's, chocolate? That's the living fudge, and it actually living has fudge. alfalfa sprouts, mm -hmm. radish sprouts, cocoa, and agave. Wow, and if you want to learn how to cook organically, guess what? Chef Michael Gentry has uh, provided a class for you as one of the raffle items you can get when you come out here to the health fair. The health fair starts at 11 o'clock. It goes till 2. Free to the public, free parking right here at UNCA. Don't miss your opportunity. In fact, coming up, we're going to take a look at some ways to make sure we can breathe easier with a little lung check. And, yes, there's a rumor that... There may be some dancing involved. That's all I can tell you right now. Live in Nashville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Well, making smart choices for your well-being can be a lot easier said than done. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live at UNCA. And, Victoria, you're at a health fair that goes actually way beyond just checking your blood pressure. Absolutely. We are at the UNCA Health Fair. They've done it now. This is their third year. And it's a chance to get some free access to health screening and a whole lot more. Carolyn Bacchus is the student who's representing and organizing it this year. And this is something that started as an idea from the students here, right? Yep. Um, our alumni of the Health and Wellness Department, Emily Panetta, started it three years ago. She recognized that students and community members didn't have any idea what was just around the corner in Asheville that they had access to. Uh, um, and and this, so she, this fair has really grown in a couple of years. We've got a little video from the first couple of years. Yep. Um, the first year we had about 20 vendors. This year we have 64. Wow. Yeah. What are they going to be offering? Uh, we have every dimension of wellness represented, and uh, Eastern Western medicine, nutrition, um, we have a Zumba instructor here who you'll get to see later. And we also have some free raffle prizes worth over $2,000. Wow. And um, we are going to have everyone is doing something interactive or engaging. Oh, and speaking of that, we can see our friends from Mission getting set up behind me here. Coming up, they're going to be helping you understand how your lungs are working. And I'm going to have the test done myself and show you. It doesn't hurt a bit, but it's so worth the trip. It's a free health fair, free parking from 11 to 2 today here at UNCA. So we'll be uh, checking out my lungs in the next half hour. Victoria Duncan News 13. When it comes to our health, rather, knowledge is power. And News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from the place where you can pick up that knowledge for free. Victoria, it's, of course, the UNCA Health Fair. That's right, and we are actually going to go through one of the uh, free screenings that you can take part in today. It's all about our lung health, and this is Don Turner, and we've got Pat who's helping me out. So we're going to get started on the test part for me, but what are we testing here for, Don? What we're testing, this is a simple screening to test for um, lung function, and what we detect is if there's any abnormalities, um, then we refer to your physician, and we can go for a full pulmonary function test. Now, go, 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 give it up, give it up, give it up. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Come on. Breathe in quick. Good job. Wow. Okay. So she's getting all this information on the computer here for me. Mm -hmm. What is this going to 
What can you learn? What have you been able to help people discover about their health? What we do is we can stage people that have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is chronic emphysema or chronic bronchitis and emphysema, and then they can have their um, their treatment plan based on that. But what is really important about this is we can catch you in the early phases before yeah. you actually have symptoms, and then you can hopefully change some of your lifestyle behaviors, which would be smoking, which is the number one cause of um, COPD. For the record, I do not smoke, but how did I do, Pat? I need you to do it again. Uh oh. Yeah, you I were very slow. Okay. 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 I'm feeling the need to move. And I think I got the breath to do it. We're going to Zumba in our next half hour. We're okay. 11 Asheville, Victoria, and Uncle News 13. Well, taking steps toward a healthier life, can't eat cookies with that, can be as easy as making a few moves on the dance floor. The News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live at the UNCA Health Fair. In Victoria, we've checked out some healthy food ideas and some health screenings. Now it's time to move, right? Mm -hmm. It is exactly time to move. We are here with the Zumba section of the health fair. In fact, uh, Mayor Mans, you are a management professor, you're right? Yes, I am. And you uh, now teach Zumba too? I do. Where did you make that connection? Well, I learned Zumba as a way to lose weight and to get moving, and then I decided to start a class here for faculty and staff. And the faculty and staff were saying they weren't interested because they felt they had two left feet and they no rhythm. So uh -huh. we started a class called Zumba for people with two left feet. Okay, let's see what they're doing. They've got some moves going on back here. How about you jump in the lead and we get going in here? What are we going to do? Oh. We're going to shake our groove thing. So the, the effect of Zumba is cardiovascular? Yes, it is, and it works, works a lot of your body parts. Uh -huh. We do a lot of stretching. And what's the best thing about Zumba? The fun. It is so much fun. Rather than going into the gym and putting on your gray clothes, you come and you dance. That's my daughter's and favorite with your group, friends by the way. and you laugh. We laugh a lot. Well, you know what? If you've got two left feet like I do, you definitely have reason to laugh. Now, what are you going to do for you today? Well, we're going to go down on our knees. Our... So this, this is, is what's hard. Work your thigh. Oh, yeah. love that. Yeah, I'm doing it. You can too. Come out. Okay, now we're going to move. Work our arms. Okay. I have a friend who lost my, more than 50 pounds doing Zumba. Yes, I didn't lose that much, but I did lose a lot. Well, what is it that your staff says now that you've got the uh, two left feet program? We going? have about 15 to 20 people that come every week, and we have a blast, and we have a nice little community, and we stay and we talk afterwards. Terrific. And so we get to know each other because we're really busy at work. All right, you can get down here and check it out and do your best Zumba, whether you have one foot that's left and one foot that's left like mine or not. It's part of the UNCA Health Fair. It starts at 11 o'clock this morning, goes to 2 this afternoon. Free, free parking, and well worth the investment in your health. We're going to Zumba some more. Live in Asheville, Victoria, Dunkel, News 13. Come on, girl.